Hey there, Commanders and Commanderettes. Chesty Puller here again. And this is a um, video of the latest Shadow Ops 70s with almost no damage. And sometimes you, I get out without damage. Sometimes I get out with just a little bit of damage. It varies because these are really hard to nail down exactly correctly. But in this case, you'll see I basically just take damage on my Titan. And uh, it's only about six or seven minutes on my Titan. And um, so I have my Sheila here. I have um, a uh, max level Hellhound and a max level um, Jackal. But on these uh, units here, I don't have them workshopped. I think it would be better if I had a choked barrel on my, uh, on my Jackal. So you bring it in and you take care of the the roving units and um, <clears throat> and then you come over to the west side of the base and keep in mind you have to have 550 range here and I like to use uh, Sheila because she can um, with her gun can um, um, stun special forces and uh, I've got a couple of guys in there with charged ordnance, so they'll also shock um, tanks and so forth. So um, the reason I backed up my jackals right there is because sometimes there's a um, um, an operator or a lead operator hiding behind the um, tower there. And then as soon as I draw him out, my special forces will get him. My Sheila will stun him and kill him. But uh, we had already gotten him at the beginning there. So you take out those four floaters. And then keep in mind um, that that uh, lead operator is going to come back after you as soon as you start shooting at the napalm. And you also have to watch out not to come too far forward because that firebomb will get you. And uh, as you'll notice there... I had to hurry up and quickly get rid of that storm because that um, nightmare was coming out. And you can keep your power plants here and use um, your growler to distract. But the problem with using the growler to distract is um, it brings out the, uh, the night owls. So instead of that, I'm just going to use a night owl myself. And sometimes I take a little bit of damage there and this time... Uh, this time I did not. I uh, got away pretty much scot-free. That damage that you see there is actually on my Titan. That seven minutes is on my Titan. And uh, <clears throat> I uh, maybe next time I'll back my Titan up. And um, because I usually in the first part right there is when I'll take my damage when I just pull it out and hit defend. And I'm not really sure what's getting me. I know that they shoot my drones a couple of times, but. I didn't think that they'd actually get to my Titan, but it always seems to get a couple of minutes on my Titan. So, because I've got the uh, drone silo, silo out now, <clears throat> um, I'm going to take out that um, avalanche with just my Hellstorms. Also notice that there was a uh, lead infiltrator that came there, but because I had Sheila there, she stunned him immediately as soon as he showed up. So he didn't get a chance to even get a shot off. And underneath that tower, there is another Special Forces uh, unit. I believe it's a lead operator, and I killed him when I shot the tower. Um, but I do back up and become invisible again. Otherwise, you'll take a couple of shots there. In this case, you saw I got out of there without a, any damage. And here's... Uh, you're going to take out a couple more um, lead infiltrators here. There's one there, and there's uh, two over by the CC. And um, so come up to, right about to the street and shoot the AA plasma and then come in just a fraction of an inch closer so that you can get to the lead operator. And then you're going to have to come in another quarter of an inch or so b before uh, you can reach the uh, defense silo. See, there was that other lead operator, or I mean lead uh, infiltrator. And... I'm going to be careful here because there's another lead infiltrator back there. There he is. Okay, and, and if you leave your um, cyclones out there, he'll tag you and he splash damages all your cyclones. So 
that's pretty much it. I left the uh, radio tower because I'm giving that away. And I like to leave the radio tower because it's easy to get to. Somebody that has cyclones can just sneak in there really quick. So um, paused it here just for a second waiting for Sheila to come back. And she had 50 seconds or something on her. 14 seconds. or I can't read it because it's so tiny. But um, I hope this is helpful. And uh, you guys have a great one out there. So you can do these in just a few minutes with very little damage. All right.